You know, speaking of that new generation, you, of course, were a part of that Kai Sinat Drewski stream, yes. which broke all the Twitch yes. records. Yes. It was so much fun to watch. And I'm very interested in how you feel comedy and entertainment has continued to evolve. What uh, did it mean to, you know, be funny when mm -hmm. you first started? And what does it mean to be funny now? You know, I, first of all, I want to say, like, I love those guys, right? And Kai Sinat and Drewski are... You know, those are two names, but there's there's several. There's several names that are doing amazing things um, in that space. And, and by amazing things, I mean this generation is so creative that they found ways to force a narrative and create a conversation attached to themselves, their likeness, and their talent. And after gaining the attention of the masses, some of them then went, and touched the stage after and started to work on the craft and are now perfecting the craft of comedy while staying true to this live streaming world or this um, uh, social media experience that they're able to provide through skits, uh, parodies, et cetera. So you're, you're looking at a new cutting, new cutting edge way of entry where as when I came up, it was about getting to the stage first, using the stage to build up an audience to then hopefully put yourself in a position to get seen by the, the masses, right? Um, but the masses, I feel like, are very late to the, to the table. Like, you know, with or without you, this generation is achieving success. And that success that they're finding, of course, is financial success, but it also comes with a large volume of engagement and fanfare, right? You know, when you talk about a Kai Sinat, you're talking about a guy, we did a live stream and we had 750,000 people locked in for eight or nine hours. That's insane. Wild. Right? It's wild. Right? That's insane. For eight or nine hours, these people stayed and watched. And not until the sleepover aspect started did it drop to like 500, 400. But you're looking at Super Bowl-like numbers you're looking at analytics and data that transfer and equate to what you deem to be the biggest versions of success for television, for ads, for your biggest spots, commercial moments. These guys and girls are cracking the code. So um, I love to like, I love to go and elevate. Like yeah. I'm a I'm a person that's a, a lover of talent and a lover of opportunity. So me going and giving Kai Sinat the opportunity to embrace me and at the same time me embrace him is to make people go like, yo, these people are real. They got next. Yeah. Don't be late to the party and miss a train that's going to go no matter what. You better figure out a way to figure it out. Like, figure out a way to make that business become your business. And, you know, that was kind of like my, my message to... Um, these studios, because I think there's a there's a hesitation um, that some have about giving the opportunity of you know the first movie or first TV show or investing the dollars and seeing if that'll equate to success over here. But if anything, that was like proof of concept. It's, it's I I I'm saying this. Um, I'm making me I'm making it my personal business to not wait for them. I'm going. And I'm going to figure it out. I'm going to figure out the way to create with or to do the things um, that are unconventional that can highlight them in the best way possible so that they're able to go and then springboard to do the other thing. And, mm -hmm. you know, if my participation is merely just a moment of connectivity and putting a bridge out there that they can walk over and get there, then I've done a great service during my time. But Definitely. as a fan of comedy, as a fan of funny, um, and just a supporter of opportunity, I think that's what the business needs and that's what the business is missing. There's this there's this real like weird space that we're in where, you know, there's an expectation that so many people have that things are supposed to happen for them in a certain way. And because of that thing, it creates this this like ego and animosity as to what and nobody, these people don't and they don't want me to go. Or these mm -hmm. people don't want, you're in a business where people don't have to do shit for you. Like nobody has to do anything for you. You're in a business where relationships are key and support and friendship and like 
and understanding that if we all can participate and somehow get on the same page of just like realizing that there's a big goal at hand for everyone, well, how can we best service the task Mm -hmm. of support, whether it be verbal, mental, you know, uh, some type of love and energy, but to where people feel like, yo, man, there's hope for us all. Like, yeah, doors will open up, but they open up at a pace of, you know, at a pace of their own. You can't, mm-hmm. you can't force shit to be what you want it to be. Like, sometimes it's about energy, man. It's just energy. Mm-hmm. The because, reason why I like those guys, their energy is yeah. so f- dope. And it's not just them. Like, it's, it's, when you think about Desi Banks, you, you know, you, you think about Country Wayne. Um, uh, ben you, the Don. Yes, yes. Mm-hmm. There, there's so many, you know, even, you know, uh, like Jess Hilarious, who now is on a breakfast club, but Jess Hilarious was, you know, doing and very adamant about her persona that she was giving to the world from social media. And, you know, uh, whether it was the rants, whether it was skits, whatever, the, the pretty V's, the B Simone, there's so many that I can name that said I'm going to marry myself to the commitment of pushing as much of me as I can on this platform in hopes that I'll build a fan base, I'll be able to build businesses from the fan base those businesses can support me while I still chase my dream and then other things just start to fall in line like just doing a breakfast club that wasn't her, that wasn't a thing at the start, that's not what she said I'm going to do at the beginning, it falls in line and that supports up the next thing. That's how the business works. The business works because shit appears that you had no idea would present itself. It's like, oh shit, I can do this. Oh, I can write a book. Oh, I can, I can be a host. Oh, after being a host, I can go back and I can go and be an actress. I can be an actor. Oh, I can tour. I can do this. I can own this. I can create this. I can launch this. That's entertainment. We're entrepreneurs. So as a fan of entrepreneurship, when I see people doing it at a high level and I see them doing it right, I just try to take whatever information I have and present it. 